I wonder if my children put that question to me. Why am I here, Daddy? And I've often wondered, what would I say to them? Well, I know because I've had the question and I have answered it. Do you know what I told them? Because I wanted you to be. And one of the biggest things for me is this. If you ask that question as bluntly as that, why are you here? I can't get behind this that God wanted me to be. Now, somebody wanting you is a wonderful thing in life. C.S. Lewis wrote a brilliant article called The Inner Ring. And we all feel this. We come across a ring of people and we're on the outside. And we feel unwanted. And all of us have had this experience. It's a terrible experience. Kids have it, grown-ups have it, and so on. And when you come to the raw question of existence, and I've asked myself this question so many times, until I came across this magnificent statement, it's in the book of Revelation, which is at the end of the Bible, and it's full of the most magnificent descriptions of beauty and sound and music and vibrant with life. And at one point, the whole universe is praising God as creator. And it goes like this. We praise you, our God, because of your will they were and were created. Put that into contemporary English and saying this. That ultimately, I exist because God, the God of the universe, wanted me to be. And that gives me infinite significance. And I see all of purpose at all the other levels flowing from that. Now, that might not be the kind of answer you were thinking of, but it seems to me you can't, you can't get behind that, you see. Why would God want me to be? Well, if you look at me, you'd wonder, wouldn't you? I mean... I wasn't going to say anything. I say, yes, of course you weren't, but it is true. And it's so, it's so encouraging. Look at me, I'm not perfect. I have all kinds of hang-ups and so on. What a terrific relief it is to discover that there's someone in the universe that wanted you to exist and accept you as you are. If you find a friend like that at Brown University, you found a friend for life. Someone who accepts you as you are. I believe that occurs at a higher level. It's only the start of the Christian faith. It's not the end. But to my mind, it's one of the most significantly meaningful things that I've got. I'd rather have that than anything else, all the degrees I've got and all that kind of stuff. I'd much rather have that, that friendship at the highest level of a friend that actually wants me to exist.